Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how I make this really cool AI artwork motion with Mid Journey and some very simple tricks, so let's get into it. Uh, so, unless you've been living under the rock for the last two months, uh, you must have heard of Mid Journeys, uh, one of the hardest AI art generators. Uh, along with other tools like dollies, which is also pretty awesome. Um, so basically, Mid Journeys is a chatbot where you can type in any kind of prompt to describe whatever you imagine, and then it will generate the artwork for you, and the result is absolutely stunning. Uh, so to get started, you need to sign up to join the Discord channels, and once you're in, uh, here's what you see. So it's basically a very big chaos of hundreds of different channels so I would recommend you to uh, subscribe to the basic membership plan um, which is just like $10 a month uh, so you can get a private dedicated space uh, on your own so you can explore easily so once you are members you will have this mid journey bot here in your discord and now you can just start creating magic on your own without any distraction uh, so you can start typing here some prompts so the syntax is slash imagine and then just start to type in some prompt here so uh, so normally i would start with something very um straightforward like son goku in marvel movie style and then we can have like a little comma here to add more description to uh, the the pictures so i'm going to add some epic backgrounds and maybe cinematic uh, lighting um, anything that, that, that you can describe to make it uh, to get a more um, refined or more um, accurate result uh, the way that you want it to be. So uh, maybe CGI obtained, um, renderers, um, so just you know being a little bit random now just to just test it to see how it's gonna uh, go. And once you're done just hit enter and then it's gonna start generating the art for you. So by default it's gonna give you four options. Um, so it's gonna take like maybe less than one minute to finish So once it's done, uh, you can see there's a higher resolution of the four image here So I'm not liking any of these so I'm going to try another prompt to see how it's gonna uh, turn out differently Alright, let's try with this one Alright, so it's getting a little bit better now, so I think the prom is working, so I just wanted to see a different result. So all I have to do to click on this button, it will give you the different result with the same prom that you type in. So after a few try, I kind of like this picture number 4 here, so I wanted to create some variation out of this. So all I have to do is click on this V4 button, so it will generate some more variation based on that image. Uh, so you can see that it's starting to look pretty good uh, now so uh, basically the whole process is just to uh, try different prompt and then to create a variation based on the one that you like um, and then with more variation and more iteration it will get much better um, over time so i kind of like this uh, picture number one here so i can click on this u1 button to upgrade into a better resolution so after a few iterations, uh, this is the one that I feel happy with. So I can just download this one uh, as an image. And we're going to do the next step, which is to create some animation out of this. So the first thing we need to do is to make it feel a little bit more 3D with the parallax effect. So very simple. So all you have to do is to go to this website, so layer pics. And from here, I'm going to upload the uh, Mid Journey's uh, photos image that I've just uh, generated no the AI just generated not me um, but with my prompt so uh, so alright so this one so I'm going to load it and just wait for a few seconds and then boom that's it so very quick almost instantly give you this really cool parallax uh, live photos uh, and on the left panel here as you can see there's a bunch of uh, different options here so you can play around with so you can adjust the animation length or different animation styles so they have like uh, horizontals uh, white circles circles animation length and focus point uh, so once you're happy with this you can click on this share button uh, and then it will give you some options so one of the options is that you can save as mp4 so click on this and select full size and then just save it and this will, will download into your computers
gonna use this MP4 and put it in After Effects and added some lightning effect to it. Alright, so I have this MP4 here, so I would recommend you to uh, use MIDI encoders and convert this MP4 into uh, the correct codec. So, uh, because for some reason um, that MP4 doesn't really work well with um, After Effects, so we need to have this step so we can have like a proper MP4 that works with After Effects. So, increase the bit rate a little bit and then uh, check on use maximum render quality and then OK. So now we just uh, render it and then we have this uh, proper MP4 here. Alright, so now let's drag this MP4 to uh, After Effects and then create a new comp with this. Uh, so now with this uh, MP4 selected, I'm going to give it a effect. So I'm going to use this Red Giant plugin, uh, which is called Universe Stylize. And in this one, I have a bunch of different options here. So I'm going to select uh, Electrify. Uh, so by default, it's going to give you this uh, basic lining effects like this um, so it looks okay but it's not uh, what I want it to look like uh, and then this animations a little bit weird here so uh, let's just go to this um, parameter to um, adjust some settings to make it look better so let's go to colors and uh, let's select this as an orange colors and for the second colors let's select a much brighter orange like this uh, so you can see that it's looking a little bit better with the proper colorings. Um, so, but still the animation is still a little bit weird here. So uh, let's um, go here and then change this noise source to fresh noise. So it's kind of uh, give you this um, random uh, stroke of lightning like this. Uh, but we want it to f it to focus on the characters, like the the hero itself, not just everywhere so let's go to uh, uh, let me just move it a little bit so let's go to mass setting and then uh, change flash noise to image contours and then it will just distribute the lighting in this uh, based on the, the image source so uh, and then let's turn on this mask so we can kind of um, focus everything in the centers of the image only um, so we kind of have this and now finally let's just reduce the brightness into maybe 15 and uh, also reduce the matte uh, brightness by 15 as well and let's go to um, glow intensities and reduce by 15 all right so let's use the RAM review to uh, render the sequence to see how it looks like but I can tell that it's looking pretty awesome by just a few frames like this um, so yeah I'm going to render it and to see how it's going to look like but um, I think that's it that's how you can uh, use the artwork generated by Miss Journeys and then bring it up to the next level by adding some depth and super cool effects like this so that's the end of my tutorial today so I hope you find this one helpful and I will see you in the next one